of all top-level existences now, Aoi Yamas, as you can tell from his sauntering gait, may well be the nicest. Far too old to chase Ozeki or have things to prove, and unfazed by those around him, especially in respect of bulk and power. When it all aligns, as in May it did, he scores big. And after his first six, hands up, how many of you thought he'd win it? His latest surprise cup campaign began against Nishkigi, who got caught in long arms and flicked towards Chief Judge. More upright than I wanted to be, said the green-belted giant, but it's only day one. And on day two he improved, leaning in well with diagonal feet and maintaining stance throughout Okinomi's dance. Day 3 went as rehearsed, Myogidyu making his right arm lockable with a signature slash inside. While Meisei, you could see, was destined to be lured into rope zone peril, as the giant swiftly turned flamingo, for a 7th straight defeat of his foe. Resolved to prove he was not all back foot, Aoyama quelled urges to pull Chiyoshoma and through, with left arm lock once more. And by day six, only he and his foe were unbeaten. Then only he, after Yamamoto, expecting a pull, charged lightly and let him lead. I encroached well, stayed on the attack, broke his balance and put him down, said the now sole frontrunner. I'm getting calmer by the day, he added, but I know there's work to do, for we're not even halfway. Also excelling, just a point behind, was Sadanomi, who faced him next. <laughs> and the first black mark on his score sheet arrived. A good Tachiai, and I entered his turf at the start, said Aoyama. But he knows I tend to pull and attacked from down low to tempt me. Alas, I took the bait. On the middle Sunday, his angles were off completely. The left block sending right arm skywards like a festival dancer's. Kotoeko, bizarrely, he'd beaten in the first, third, fifth, and seventh of their eight clashes. And it was his turn again in the ninth, the lightweight's right coming deep into clamping danger. But Midori Fuji left his right in for a mere instant, swinging hard before the big man even twitched. And when equally tricky Uda slipped under his forearm smash, then gripped too deeply to be thrown,
Aoyama reacted with rage at a fourth loss from five. His title dreams sadly smashed again. But with pressure off, his focus returned. And pinpoint blows on Azumaryu earned a boost to rank. It was good I could impose my style calmly, he said of a foe whose direct sumo played to his strengths. Early encroachment on Shimanoumi reaped rewards also, sparking glimmers of a trophy parade. Horshoryu, however, was in menacing mood. <laughs> Spinning him a full 180, with a demonic parry. Meaning, he could not receive even a special prize by the time he faced Koto Shoho. The sidestep somewhat blemished his previous work, and the pull, while deft, drew groans from fans who've seen a dozen and more. Ten wins just shy of 36 is quite a feat, and he will rest up delighted. But if he'd spent the past decade going forward as much as he'd talked about doing, a cup may well have been his.